Prostitution. What, what, what can prostitution do? Huh? Alright. Well, one of the previous speakers said, let's just debate the merits of this. Okay, okay. No merits. You can't. What are you going to do? Okay, okay, fine. I come home from a big work day, and uh, I need a little relief. <laughs> gonna go off to the street and, uh, you know, uh, find a, shall we say, prostitute. What, 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 what am I, uh, I mean, I mean, did you, do you not see, like, the very audacity of this idea? You degrade women, you degrade men, you degrade poor people. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm not on my feet, so instead of, you know, getting an education and working it out a little bit, I'll go and spread my legs or whatever it is. Delegate, you're out of order. Please sit down, thank you. Tyler Red Monday donations. I reserve my right to yield to Delegate Jessup from Florida. Thank you, delegates. I would first like to point out that I will be talking about the merit of this proposal. First, I would like to point out there are an estimated 3 million teenagers that are prostituted against their will in the United States alone. As I am speaking to a group of teenagers, I would like to also point out that this problem can be stopped by legalizing prostitution because of the restrictions that are placed on the practice. Furthermore, I would like to point out that prohibiting a social problem in effect creates a myriad of more social problems. For example, to pay to stop um, a legal activity uh, such as prostitution fills jails, which creates more overcrowding, fill the people performing a practice that is harming no one, thus costing more money to fund prisons and losing out on money that could be collected from taxes on prostitution. Prostitution must be managed, not ignored. Management would eliminate pimps and organized crime figures from treating prostitutes on subhuman levels. For some statistics, the Netherlands, Canada, France, Greece, Israel, Denmark, Singapore, and the United Kingdom all have legalized prostitution, but have lower crime, HIV, AIDS, suicide, and divorce rates, thus proving that legalized prostitution does not make a society more mixed with social problems. Finally, I would like to point out that consenting adults can have sex in front of cameras and sold, be sold as pornography, but prostitution is looked at as the bane of moral existence. I will leave you with this. When an adult consents to selling sex, it is a freedom of speech and choice. Then why are there limits for two consenting adults in privacy? Thank you, and I yield the remainder of my time to Jessup from Florida. You've yielded 30 seconds. Hello, Jessup. Um, more delegation? I would like to point out that our current system penalizes participants of prostitutes uh, like a current, like a previous delegate stated, for what they do as consenting adults. Once caught, the justice departments have to process these people through our legal system, which is a very expensive process. In fact, last year, Los Angeles alone spent over a hundred million dollars in regulating prostitutes. Additionally, police personnel and courtrooms are overburdened with these cases and usually have little to no effect on reducing the rate of prostitution. And the prostitutes are back on the street in no time. Thank you, delegate. Time is left. Thank you, Madam Chair Boyd Washington, and I reserve my right to real yield the remainder of my time to Zubia from Texas. That's right. Fellow delegates, this proposal doesn't actually legalize prostitution. It gives counties the option to legalize prostitution. So everyone who's getting up here talking about how people will, you know, it's like consenting adults, that's not necessarily going to happen. Second, uh, the fact that people will probably unknowingly go into these brothels to have sex with a prostitute and contract all sorts of diseases because most, I think, I didn't even know until I was here earlier that the size of the AIDS virus is 1 the size of the pores of a condom. Like, most people don't understand that and going into these brothels poses all sorts of health concerns that just creates all sorts of problems for the counties. Uh, that I yield the remainder of my time to Zubia from Texas. Thank you. 30 seconds. Abraham Lincoln once said at the height of slavery, although volume upon volume is written to prove slavery a very good thing, we never hear of the man who wishes to take the good of it by being himself a slave. Who in here themselves wants to be a prostitute and degrade themselves in that standard? Um, if we look to Western Europe, we can contrast Netherlands, who legalized and regulated, and Sweden, who took a big stick approach. We see in Sweden there was a 41% drop in the STI rate, whereas in the Netherlands there was no notable difference. West, Europe has a consensus that Sweden's approach was more effective, whereas the Netherlands wasn't. 
um, they say that this is this, we're avoiding the roots and real problems. The roots and real problems are that these women can't have a legitimate job or a legitimate education. That's the root of this problem. Um, she says that there's a protective nature of work. If this prostitute does not want to have sex with that man, her employer will fire her. How is there any protection in that work? She doesn't have a choice as to who she wants to will have sex with if she wants to keep her job. Um, even if you are looking to free to the freedom of speech and saying that, oh, it's two consenting adults, then at least see it that it's not even fully. Thank you, Delegate. Your time has elapsed. Touch and family of Alabama. Um, I reserve my right to yield to the Delegate Kelly from Wisconsin. That is right. A previous speaker stated, what about states' rights? That is a legitimate concern. I have another question. What about county rights? I live in a place where just to pass a law that will affect only one individual county, it has to go through all the legislatures of Alabama and then be signed onto our constitution. This means that a law that would only affect me and my home can be like decided by some lobbyist who lives on the other side of Alabama just because of political reasons or because of money. So I applaud this um, proposal for giving the rights to the counties that they really deserve and are too often neglected. Um, another um, point brought up is what about AIDS? Well, what about liver disease and alcohol? People know the risk of alcohol and cigarettes and other such drugs, but they still take it. When you go into a brothel, you know the risk of getting an STD. That's understood, and by knowing that, you accept that when you enter. Thank you, I yield my time to the delegate from Wisconsin, Kelly. Dan Kelly, Wisconsin. Will the authors yield to a series of questions? Authors yield? Yes. Does the national government have the right to protect the life of its citizens? Yes. Would the, does the illegal status of prostitution increase illegal drug use in America? Yes. Does it increase non-prostitution non related crime? Can you the that? illegal status of prostitution, does it, il does it increase non-prostitution related crime? Yes. Does it increase violent sex crimes? Yes. Does it increase STDs and AIDS? Yes. Would legalization of prostitution degrade any, would degrade either sex? Would the quality of life of a prostitute increase with the legalization of prostitution? Absolutely. Finally, is it legal to have sex? Yes. And is it legal to sell just about anything that is legal to have in America? Yes. So I ask you delegates, why is it illegal to sell sex? I yield my time.